This is the last of the new gold key bosses that are on test room right now. This is actually the first key boss that I decided to go and fight on test room and record. I recorded all these back to back. The first day of test room, this one I just, I don't know, I just decided to go to Celestia and look for it. Took me a while to find this skeleton key sigil because it's in the science center, kind of in the middle of the science center. And I mean, think about it. All I knew was that this boss was in Celestia somewhere. So I just had to kind of run around and try to find it somewhere. But now for you guys, you know, it's in the science center. So you don't have to run around all of Celestia. But this is going to be Drown Dan and Sunken Sam. There's three of them as his henchmen. Now, Sunken Sam, the Sunken Sams are all ice. And that makes it a little difficult because they do put up Legion shields and tower shields and that kind of thing. The boss, Dan, puts up a invulnerability aura first turn. Which means he takes no damage until you get rid of it somehow. I'm not sure if he said the cheat code at the beginning. A cheat code? I mean, it is a cheat code. But if he did, I, I mean, I missed it. Man, that's so loud. <laughs> that spell is ridiculously loud. So there's the code. Three and then question marks for the rest of it. It's four digits. They give you the first one. And it's a three. So what that means is... In order to unlock his invulnerability aura, you have to use a certain pip spell that he's giving you in this code. First one is three, so you have to use a three pip spell on him. The other thing to note is you cannot kill the sunken Sam minions at the same time. I actually tried that. The first time I went in here, I just used Stormlord, killed all of them, and uh, that didn't work. They don't give you the code. In order to get the code, you have to kill them one at a time, which makes this take a little bit longer. Basically, this fight is just single hits only. So if you like using single hits, then this fight is the fight for you because that's what you have to do here. You have to kill all the ice minions with single hits. Then you have to hit Drown Dan with specific single hits that he tells you to do. And then it unlocks the aura and you can finally hit him. So it's kind of crazy. Luckily, you can use feints, so it's not a big deal. But the code is 3-8-something. So you have to hit him with a 3-pip, then an 8-pip. If you don't have those, you know, pip spells in your deck, you're going to have to flee and go get them and come back. Maybe you could put them in your TCs, but I mean, think about it. You would need... He can do 0, so you can have a wand hit, and then 1 through 9... So, you're going to put all those TCs in, maybe, but <laughs> it's kind of just, for me, I just ended up fleeing and coming back once I knew the code and uh, using those spells. The good thing is, there is no late cheat, so something to note, but I don't have enough for the next Triton, though I do have some TCs, though. I have Kraken, so go ahead and Kraken. The next Sunken Sam. You could actually start unlocking his code. Start hitting him with the three pips since you already know that. You could start doing that. Because I don't think it matters. Since we're not hitting him with any other spells. You could do the three. And I guess you could do the eight if you wanted to. If you had an eight pip spell ready to go. So we put up a feint. Kraken's definitely going to kill him. He doesn't even have any tower shields or anything. And that'll give us the next part of the code. There's no way you could guess these. I mean, I guess you could, but you have to get pretty lucky. And I just feel like it's not really worth it. Okay, I finally can hit with Triton on the last Sunken Sam. We're definitely cutting out that turn because that turn took forever. The guy used Snow Angel and that spell is <laughs> crazy long spell. And finally get Triton off. Definitely kills him. You only have to do 5k to these guys. And we can get the last of the coat. 
The only bad thing is you don't get to see the code until the beginning of next turn. I probably could have tried to use Storm Shark there to do the first part of the code, which is three, since Storm Shark is three pips. But it ends up not mattering because, I mean, I guess I could have used it right there. I probably should have just to, you know, start doing the code. But I end up passing. I think because I, I wasn't even sure if it was going to work or not. I should have just tried it anyway. But instead, I uh, wasted that turn. And maybe I was worried about the tower shield, but who cares? Like, he, he's invulnerable anyway. Doesn't even matter. Yeah, I don't know why I'm passing here. I should have just used Storm Shark, but... Yeah, I think I end up dying. Yeah, he's definitely going to kill me. Is this the glitch spell? Because in the other video, this spell was glitched. Let's see if it's glitched here. He even stole my blade and used it against me. <laughs> yeah, it's glitched. Can't even see it. So that kills me, but it gives me time to flee, come back, put in the necessary spells in order to unlock his cheat. So I put in Triton because, actually no, was there a six pip? I think I put in Triton just as a final hit. I put in King Art because we need a eight pip. I also got some tower shields because I don't want to die. Oh, there is a six. So the last one was six. So we need Triton. <laughs> so we got Storm Shark, King Art, Wand Hit, and Triton will finish the code. I'm not sure why I didn't look for Storm Shark yet. I mean, in hindsight, I should have just used it by now. Or I also put in Rasulka. So there's my Storm Shark finally. We decided to use it. So we got to start getting this code unlocked. Can't do any damage until this code is done. There's no reason to even blade. doesn't even use the tower shield because we're not doing damage. <laughs> so he says it's correct. So that's three. Now we need eight pips in order to use King Art. That'll be the next one. No reason to enchant it or anything because it doesn't really do damage. You're just using it in order to, you know, do this code sequence. Man, he loves this spell. And it's funny because they use the spell a lot, but it never seems to work properly. We just get to see the wall. Actually, is that the wall or is it the ground? I think it's the wall. <laughs> There's King Art. Yeah, this fight isn't too bad. Like, it's just a lot of single hits. That's all it is. And it's very specific single hits. So two or three hitters in this one would make this a lot easier. Definitely the way to go to get those codes going, to get the Sunken Sams defeated, and then the code going would obviously help. You could even do it at the same time. Like, as you unlock the Sunken Sams, get the code, you could use it on Drown Dan. I decided to use the Unenchanted Triton. Because damage doesn't matter here. I'll probably need to use Triton in order to actually defeat him once his aura is up. It shows that he doesn't have an aura right now because if you flee and come back, then it kind of glitches it out and doesn't show it. That will finish off the code. I like using Triton. Triton's like one of my favorite storm spells. I just like it. Just such a classic spell. So there we go. Rasulka is going to finish this off. I was thinking maybe he was going to use that um, Nautilus spell again. Double faint. Doesn't matter if he has a tower shield because it'll kill anyway. 
And that'll do it for Drown Dan. So this fight wasn't too bad. Just takes a lot of hits. And with one hitter, it takes a little bit of time. That's why I cut out all the times that I'm just kind of waiting for pips, building up the next single hit. That is all the gold key fights. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look at some of these new test room gold key bosses. I thought they were a lot of fun. I mean, one of them wasn't as fun, but I mean, <laughs> some good ideas going here. Some good um, unique mechanics that uh, I like to see. So, and of course, some new drops. We get all these spellments that are dropped from these bosses. So if you guys enjoyed this, leave a like on it and I'll see you all next time.